All right, so my son and I uh, built him a home in 38 days, and uh, now we're just going to take a look at it. Let's go see. Yes, it's a van, but it's a home. And there he is. All right. So, okay. all right, what made you decide to uh, live in a van? <laughs> you know what you ought to do. No. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> All right, well, let's just go through the build. So there's your bed, there's your bed, there's the kitchen. Why don't you just show us the refrigerator space? So this is your refrigerator. Yep, this is my refrigerator. It's a Dometic CF040, I think, um, is the model number. Uh, I got everything that I need in there. Water, celery, eggs, salad, tuna, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, it's DC powered, it slides in. Um, the sink here is a little bar sink. Nice. Uh, the hose, you can see, I don't know if the video yeah. can see that. It mm -hmm. goes into a container down here. These are all buckled in so they can be unbuckled. Got my hose, I got an extra fan. Um, for at so it's time. gravity fed water. Gravity fed water. Hmm. Looks like it works fine. Yeah, and it makes a little burping sound. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I didn't really make it. Uh. There it goes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> So this is a five gallon jug, that's the same five gallon jug down there. Got it. Um, this is my drinking water, three gallons. This is fair water for um, sink, for washing stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I have uh, three gallons of drinking, three gallons here, three gallons here, and then there's a compartment underneath these three gallons that store right. another four gallons. Which you can, oh, you can see it down in there. Yep. Yeah. Which you can get to from up top. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. a little removable panel. Mm -hmm. So total, I think, what's that? Uh, nine plus four is 11 plus five. Or no, wait, that's not 11. Nine plus four is 13 plus five is 18. Right. So 18 gallon system, basically. Right. Yeah. A uh, little storage over here mm -hmm. that we just added today. Um, up top there's storage, Plenty which is mostly uh, soylent, which is powdered food. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I guess we'll go back here. Okay. So then you got a workspace here? Uh, yeah. So my TV. Uh, well, let me see. Ouch. The oh. chair rotates. Which is nice. Um, Back here I have a cable that I can slide out and basically like this. There's a little latch here to attach it, but I like it pulled in. So if I do something like this and latch it in. Oh, I'm just gonna find there we go. There we go. And normally I would have my laptop here and then I can pull my TV forward for a whoops, second screen. I hit my head. If I pulled my seat forward, then I don't hit my head. That's right. That's, it. Uh, That's nice. Yep, so the laptop will hook up to that using HDMI. And then this table on this side also uh, is usable for cooking. Right, so if I want to cook, I just flip it around, flip myself around, mm -hmm. lock it in place. i got my grill, which is in here. Chips. And that's a propane grill. Propane grill. Um, down here I have all my propane. Spare propane. So I would take propane, screw it into the grill. And then up here is the fantastic fan. So you can open this up. Which it just completely exhausts any toxic fumes that would kill you. Yeah. And over here. Otherwise, if there are toxic fumes that will kill me, this hopefully this will go off first. Right. But I mean, with CO poisoning, you get nauseous first, so the body right. has its own mechanisms. You're not going to just keel over and die. Right. You'll get nauseous, so you open up a door and get extra air. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. But yeah, that's the, that's, that's the cooking setup. Okay. And then I noticed you went with drawers. What was the logic there? Uh, so we debated a lot of different types of storage. Uh, we debated like sliding panels or something like that, but we went with drawers because um, easier to access. So I'm never on my hands and knees. I can always pull the drawer out to access any space. These and are all my clothes. Full extension glides. Yep. So you can, and a door, you would it'd have to swing one way or the other. Right, if we had a door, door here, right. it would get in the way. Um, and then even then, if 
you could figure out a way to, that the door wouldn't get in the way, you'd still be on your hands and knees digging into right. uh, the right. cavity. Right. Which would, which so would the be little bit of space you pick up having a, a door doesn't doesn't equate to the the ease and comfort of having drawers. And a simple little yep. latching system. Um, and then uh, let me get on this side. Over here is the closet. So I have shoes down here, a bag, and then all my hanging stuff, mostly just jackets. Yep. Um, trash can. Uh, this is the power setup. So I have two um, two 100 watt solar panels, Renogy. They're off Amazon. It's a kit. Mm -hmm. Those are your um, batteries. Two uh, big VMAX batteries each. They're 125 amp hours each. Um, so I have a 250 amp hour system. Um, the inverter is a 1500 watt inverter. This is the tracer. This uh, connects to the, the MPPT charge controller. So all this stuff was bought on Amazon, which is what's amazing. Is you can get all this crap. This is all like the highest rated stuff on Amazon. If you right. search on Amazon, you can find all this stuff, and it works great. Um, well, let's, let's get a shot. Uh... So the solar panels, obviously. And how difficult was that to uh, install? Um, the solar wasn't bad, really. Yeah. The, the hard part was getting on the roof. Right. And doing it in 90 degree Georgia weather. Right. That's the hard part. I mean, hooking up the, once we, once we had the uh, roof rack. Yeah, the ladder rack, yep. So the roof, well, it's not really, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's a ladder, well, yeah, just the a roof. The roof rack um, is from Euro Campers. And it was, I don't know, like 250 bucks or something. But uh, once we had that figured out, then mounting the solar was actually pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, there's a hole where the power lines go through. Um, so this is all insulated in here. We, if, if you, in the video, we're going to have a, just a link to um, a page with all sorts of pictures on the build and everything. And uh, you'll see where we drilled the holes and ran the power lines and stuff like that. But obviously you can't see it now because it's all behind the paneling. Right. Which is Luon, so it's bendable because all the walls are, you can see give a little bit of the construction, uh, the walls are curved, which makes it a challenge to end up with something square in front and curved in the back, so. Yeah. Um, you have some light switches over here. Yep, yeah. so you got your little reading lamp light or whatever and yeah. kitchen light. The bed is uh, 30 inches wide, 75 inches long, 8 inches thick, mm -hmm. and it's a memory foam. It's a, it's a high quality mattress, it's a $400 mattress. Mm -hmm. um, sleep great on it, it's nice and cool at night. Um, I put a fan right in front of this vent which sucks the air into the right. van. And, and that's, then that's the, on the outside of it. And then the fantastic fan on the ceiling uh, uh, pushes the air out the top. Mm -hmm. And you got a bike, I see. I have a folding bike, a Brompton folding bike, which is uh, belted in. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason for that is because I, I wanted a bike, but I didn't want to have a bike on the outside. And I didn't want right. to take up a huge amount of room on the inside. So the, the Brompton folding bike is fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, but a little expensive, 1500 bucks, but I, I mean, I love it. I think it's great. And you have a uh, linoleum floor. Yep. Fake wood linoleum floor. Yep. Looks great. Yep. And then what's in that small compartment next to the batteries? What is that? That's my uh, that's my toilet. Right oh, there. okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> We're not going to go through that. <laughs> you got a couple of guitars. You got yep. all your uh, every all your needs. Yep. Good deal. Books. Got plenty of books in here. Yep. And it was uh, 38 days to build. 38 days to build. The van was around $33,000. The build is around $5,500. Right. So I'm looking at around $38,000, $39,000 overall. Right. Um, it's all paid off. It's done. So I own it. Yep. And you're living for free. No debt. Electricity is completely free. I can fill up my water for free by going to gas stations. They give me right. they just give me free water. Yep. Um, yeah, it's great. I it's great. It. All right. Black book with my poems in. Got a bag, got a toothbrush, and a comb in. But I'm a good dog, they sometimes throw me a bone. I got elastic bands keeping my shoes on. 
got the swollen hand blues. I got 13 channels of shit on the TV to choose from. I got electric light. I got second sight. I got amazing powers of observation. Telephone to you. There'll be nobody home. I got the obligatory Hendrix pen and the inevitable pinhole bed. Silver spoon on a chain. Got a grand piano to prop up my mortal remains. I got wild staring eyes. And I got a strong urge to fly. But I got nowhere to fly to. Fly to. Boots, and I got feeding.